Hey everybody, welcome back. So we're getting ready to do our first inspection of February and this is getting into crunch time uh, because we've got about five weeks left before we uh, give out a huge sigh of relief. And uh, so we've got our sugar that we're going to bring out just in case we need it and uh, we're going to see how the bees are doing. So let's go take a look. All right, this is hive number one. As you can see, there's a nice little cluster there going. And they're just eating away at the sugar. We got some pollen in here. So the only thing I'm going to add here, I may take some of the sugar and kind of push it towards the middle because that's where I want the cluster to be. And then I'm going to add some of the, uh, a teaspoon of this, uh, this DF, uh, Pro DF, DP, uh, DFM rather. And uh, that's it. Let's see what we can do. So it appears as though I've got my first dead out. I haven't dug in there very deep, but uh, I don't see or hear any movement. And I see a lot of dead bees. Uh, there's still food there. As I look down in, I see plenty of food down in there. So we're going to dig into a little bit and see what happened. But very, very disappointing, but, you know, we didn't expect. Well, maybe there is some life down there. I don't know. Let me dig into it. We'll see. So hive number three... This one is alive. I can see him coming and going. And uh, let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Look at that beehive. Isn't that beautiful? They've still got uh, some food there. Man, that's a full hive. Holy cow. I'm going to try to add more food to it in, in the middle here. If I can push those bees down and get some more sugar in there. Because that's still got to go another three, four weeks. At least, that's a beautiful hive. Okay, hive number four. Same thing. Beautiful. Lots of food. Looks like they're going to be okay. The only thing I'm worried about is, uh, you know, they're eating up a lot right here. The food's way over here. So I may try to reposition that food. But other than that, looks beautiful. It's a great hive. Hive number five, smaller cluster over towards the left. I'd like to see them farther in the, in the middle. I push some of that sugar over there and uh, let's see if they'll transition back over there over the next few weeks. It's a little smaller than I want to see, but it's still, still alive and doing fairly good. Hive number six, hive number six here. Again, looks like a beautiful hive. I'm not even going to do anything with it. Lots of food in there. They're chowing down. I'm going to seal them right back up. Doing good. Hive number seven. You can see the bees right down in there. I just want to see how much food they got. So let's take a quick gander here. This hive was out flying around quite a bit the other day. Looking good. Look at that. Beautiful. Just like we want to see. Seal it right back up. Leave it alone like it. Hive number eight. You can see they got a big cluster underneath all this sugar so we're just gonna leave them alone and hope that they uh, hope for the best. So this, uh, they appear to be doing as well as they can do. I don't think I can do anything else for them. So. And this is hive number nine. And you can see the bees are coming up through. I got a lot of sugar here. So we're just gonna close it right back up again and let them be. Looks to be pretty good. This is one I really am hoping survives because it was my best hive last year. And I'd like to take some uh, queen cells off that and uh, do my queen ring off that one. That's one of them I want. I can see them coming out the entrance here. So I wanna come back and take a look at this dead out hive. Try to figure out what happened. Because uh, it looks like there's food, but I'm going to dig into it. Maybe they did starve because there's, there's not a lot of sugar on top like the other hives. And uh, another thing that might have happened is it may have warmed up and the cluster split. And when it got cold again real fast, the, they didn't have a chance to recluster in one position, one location. So you can see one cluster over there, over here. And then you got another smaller one over here, it looks like. So they may have gotten separated down underneath which is usually not good as well. So let me, I'm gonna take a look inside here and see what I find. So 
eight out of nine are doing relatively well. Seven are doing really, really well. One I'd like to see stronger. Uh, it appears as though they've got enough food to go them a couple of weeks. Uh, but weather permitting, I'm going to be back here uh, at least once a week from now until the spring. You know, just dropping in uh, some can small candy boards or something just to make sure that they don't run out. Because uh, that one, there's right there, that one that... Uh, uh, we lost. Uh, that was just negligence on my part. So I was in them a week or so ago. I thought it had plenty of food. And man alive, they can tear through some food when they need to. So um, it has me a little bit nervous about the rest of them, even though, even though they appear to have plenty of food. And it doesn't really look like they've touched much of their food. So um, I did not weigh them before I put them away for the winter. And that's something I will be doing next year. <laughs> Uh, and it could be that that one was just really, really light going into the winter. In fact, I'm quite certain that those those three on the end were fairly light. Um, two of them are, two of them, oh, actually one of those was a Saskatraz, which kind of bums me out because I only have two of those. So uh, one of those other ones there is, is a Saskatraz and the rest are carnies. So, uh, but anyways, it's, uh, it's frustrating, but lessons learned. So we'll go back and we'll start making up some candy bar boards. And this weekend we'll come back, we'll drop a candy board in each of them, and we'll just come back once a week until uh, mid-March or into April when uh, when things start coming to life. So, you know, it's a, it's a kick in the gut when you lose any of your hives, but uh, I should be fairly happy because this is the longest I've gone without losing any. And, and again, this is my first year using single brood, uh, single brood box, so uh, it's kind of a learning experience. But anyways, there we have it with our uh, our uh, beginning of February winter check. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.